celebrating Omani Women's Day on Merge with Rumaitha. As we're leading into Omani Women's Day, I had the pleasure to speak with five phenomenal women who represent the diversity of the stories we hear every day. From a mother who fought her way to go back to school after 27 years, to professionals in male-dominated positions, to a frontliner who contracted COVID and came out stronger. This is their stories. Fadlila al farajs story is a personal inspiration to me. She is a woman from the south of Oman who fought her way to reach where she has today. She's an economist at the moment at IMF at Washington, D.C. And I was fascinated with her story, so I asked her, who is Fadlila? And this is what she had to say. I was born and raised in Al Hafa in Salada. I then moved to Muscat to study finance with Zotaq Mabuz University. When I came back, I started as a junior accountant with a salary nearly had 400 Omaniria. It was very challenging, but I was determined. I used to work extra free hours until 7 or 8 p.m. every day, just trying to learn more. And it paid off. A couple of years later, I could find a better job. And I was between jobs until I got the Fulbright scholarship. We were only six from Oman. It was a very long and challenging process that took almost a year. For those who don't know, Fulbright is a scholarship offered by the U.S. Department of State to study in the U.S. I came back to Oman with a master's in applied economics. And again, I'm between jobs. I finally got a job as a head of finance department. At the third month, it finally hit me. I want more. I didn't realize at that stage what is more or how much more. We started SAL in 2013. I have my master's. I got, I'm a Fulbright fellow. I had two offers as the head of finance department, but it wasn't enough. And now I'm here at the International Monetary Fund in DC. As an Armani woman abroad, Fadila has had to overcome many challenges that have come her way. I wondered how she ended up where she is today in a position where a lot of Omani professional women aspire to be. It wasn't easy for sure. I remember 15 years ago, I pictured myself sitting in this apartment with an astonishing view of a big city. I never thought that this city would be Washington DC or the view would be the monument and the US Capitol. I just have this picture stored in the background of my mind. So when I saw the opportunity, I memorized my first struggle coming to U.S. as a Fulbrighter. But you can never be ready. You will be fighting to win the position and at the same time fighting the social hardship for being a female with a dream. So you will have to face those who will say no for no good reason and deal with people you hardly know who will try to talk your family down. Others who think you only need to get married and settle down and that should be your goal. And of course, you never forget people who will always think every accomplishment you do is worthwhile. But experience always taught me to just put this as a background noise and be determined and work hard and that's all you need. I remember there was one time I almost lost my Fulbright scholarship. A dear friend gave me this one word advice, focus. So I think that brought me here. One thing I asked Fadila, what future does she see for Omani women? I'm really optimistic. Five years ago, I wouldn't think there will come a time where we will be discussing women's rights in open platforms. Despite the ignorance that we see, which I think a uh, normal process in any when awareness starts, is there gender discrimination still? Yes, there is in the workplace, job market, education, and simple social pressure, things like you need a male guardian for everything or even travel. For me, this is a huge mistrust and totally unacceptable. Omani women are almost 60% of the population and we represent only 7% of the total workforce, 7%. The unemployment rate for females with university diploma or higher degree are five times more than the males. There's a progress, yes, it's a very slow progress, but at least we are moving. It would be nice if it goes faster, but our voices is stronger now, and I think that's what matters now, and I'm proud that at least we started talking. And this is her message to Armani women. Always aim high, go for more, look around for those who trust and believe in you. 
care about your financial independence and everything will follow. That's my message. Omani Women's Day with Rumaitha on Merge. Brought to you by BMW. Season of Style. Take October by storm with exciting offers on your new BMW.